Welcome to Scuba Stanley, Sailing and Adventures. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Rotan Honduras, Pirates Point, September 1st, 2019. Pirates Point is a large reef with a big sand chute. Top of the reef diving is between 50 and 70 feet. Our ship is moored to a large piece of an old crane. As we descend to the top of the reef, we can see a lot of sponges and coral. Bright sunny afternoon. We're a moderate depth here of about 60 feet. Plenty of sunshine coming through. Very active reef, a lot of fish. This is an afternoon dive. The wind had picked up a little bit from the morning, which is not uncommon in Roatan. As a result, things had gotten stirred up just a little bit. The visibility was still really good and I was enjoying the large fields of coral. Here's a large pillar of coral. It's the only one I saw on this reef which is interesting. It seems like I tend to see them in clusters. Nevertheless, this was the only one here, at least that I saw. I came across a couple of lizard fish. They seem to be doing some sort of mating ritual or almost like a dance. I decided to watch them for a few minutes. I find them very interesting, especially when they lay on the bottom. Back at the piece of the crane, I was told before the dive that there was a large green eel that lived in the crane and sometimes he'd come out and follow the divers around. I did find him here, hiding in the crane. He was pretty deep so it was hard to get close. I couldn't really get a good shot of him. I guess he just wasn't feeling particularly friendly right then. There's a little drumfish I found. They're so cute. I love the large dorsal fin. I tried to get closer, but he was a little shy. Look at all the colors here. The, the light really brings them out. It's a shame that you can't really get all the colors on the entire reef. The, the light just doesn't reach far enough. But the entire reef is very colorful. I came across this chain moray eel, I don't know if you can see him, he's small and he's really tucked back in there, see him, he's yellow and black. I had the video camera mounted on top of my camera housing and unfortunately he drops a little bit out of frame there, but I couldn't get in any closer, he was tucked in tight. The green moray eel did come out and he was following the dive master pretty closely there. Probably because the dive master had a lionfish on a spear. I tried to get the dive master's attention, but I didn't have a tank banger. So, I eventually had to swim over and grab his fin to let him know that the, the moray eel was after that lionfish. Probably the most exciting part of this dive was the, the green moray eel free swimming and 
not afraid to get close to us. He really wanted that lionfish. After I signaled the dive master, he did swim over and provide a tasty meal. Here comes the dive master with the lionfish. And here comes our green moray eel for a snack. I guess he can digest those spines. They don't see it real well. So it's a little disconcerting to me when they start swimming around real close. He hung around for about five minutes. I guess hoping for another lionfish, which didn't come. Lionfish don't really have any natural predators here, and they're an invasive species. So I think the idea is to get them used to eating the lionfish, and hopefully maybe one day they'll eat them on their own. There's another interesting coral formation, some sponges, fans. Again, the colors on this reef are just incredibly beautiful. I think these are called needlefish. Their noses are extremely pointy. I love swimming with the schools of fish. It's got to be one of my favorite things diving. Especially when they integrate and let you get really close. I love the blue colors on these fish. Headed back towards the piece of wrecked crane that we used for mooring. I thought I'd take a look and see if the green moray eel found his way back to his home. Nope, he's not there. I guess he's still out swimming around somewhere. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stop by scubastanley.com.